Welcome to our lecture online. Here's our first example of how to apply deductive reasoning. What we've been given, we've been given the statement that x is an odd number. And then they're asking us to explain which of these four expressions represents an even number. I guess we can also determine which ones express, uh, express an odd number as well. So how do we do that? We need to come up with a set of logical steps to come to a conclusion. But if we start working this and we don't know all the, the facts, all the laws, all the rules, then it'll be a hard thing to do. Matter of fact, we probably will come up with some wrong answers because then it's purely based on guesswork more than anything else and we don't want to do that. So let's take a look at the rules here. If we, if we add or subtract two numbers, the rules are exactly the same for, uh, for adding or subtracting, if both numbers are odd and we add or subtract them, we will end up with an even number. If one of them is odd and the other one is even, the answer will still be odd. And if both of the numbers are even and we add or subtract them, we'll end up with an even result. So what we can see here is the only way that you're gonna, going to end up with an odd number when you add or subtract is when one number is odd and the other one is even. If they're both odd or they're both even, then you end up with an even number. In other words, adding an odd number will change what you started with. So if you start with an even and you add an odd, you then become odd. And if you add even numbers, there will be no change. In other words, add an even to an even, it'll stay the same. And if you add an even to an odd, you'll remain even, um, you'll remain odd. So there's different ways of looking at the rules, but that's basically what we have. When we multiply or divide, notice what happens now. When we multiply two odd numbers together, we get an odd again, like three times five, they're both odd numbers, we get 15, that's still an odd number. If one is odd, but the other one is even, we get an even number, or when they're both even, we get an even number. Or, when we have an even and multiply times odd, we still get an even number. In other words, the only way we're going to get an odd number when we multiply or divide is when they're both odd. If one of them is even, or both are even, doesn't matter what order, you'll get an even result. Those are the rules. If we know those rules, then we can apply logic to come up with the answer. But if we don't know the rules, chance of getting the right answers are pretty slim. So let's try now using the rules to these four expressions. So here, we're going to take a number, which is odd, and so let's go ahead and label them. So no, x is going to be odd, and we're going to add plus an even number. So what happens when we take an odd number and we add an even number? The rule says that we still get an odd result. So together, this will be odd. Here, we have an odd number, and we multiply it times an even number. We know that when we multiply an odd with an even number, we get an even number. So this here will become even. But now we subtract an odd number. So what happens when we take an even number and we add or subtract an odd number, we end up with an odd result. So the total of this will be odd. Now we go to our next one. Here we have an odd number and we're going to multiply that times an odd number. When we multiply an odd times an odd, we get an odd. And now we're going to add an even to that. So odd plus even, so here we go. Odd plus even will still remain odd. So this expression is odd as well. And finally, here we have an odd number and we're going to multiply the times an odd number. So we have an odd multiplied times an odd. That still gives us an odd result plus an odd number. So now we have an odd number plus an odd number. Odd plus odd will give us an even result. And so this is the only expression of the four that gives us an even result. The other first three of them will give us an odd result. So now that we think we've got the right answers, let's show some examples of each one just to make sure it makes sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to assume that x is equal to 3 because x is supposed to be a not number. All right, if x is equal to 3, let's see what we get in each of these expressions. So here we get 3 plus 2 is equal to 5, and sure enough, 5 is a not number, so that looks like it's correct. The next expression, 
we take 2 times 3 minus 1, that's equal to 6 minus 1, which is equal to 5. Again, 5 is an odd number, and so it looks like we did it correctly. The next example, we have 3 times 3 plus 2. Well, that's equal to 9 plus 2, which is equal to 11, and 11 is an odd number, so that looks correct. Almost looks like a little face, doesn't it? All right, next number. So we have 3 times 3 minus 1, which is equal to 9 minus 1, which is equal to 8. And sure enough, 8 is an even number, so we found the correct answer. It's always a good idea to check out your answers in any way you can, just to make sure it was correct. And that is how it's done.